Greetings, JCAM fam. We are back talking about three different things that are, will be important throughout the semester and school year, and that is scientific law versus theory versus hypothesis. Let's get into it and talk about the overlaps and the differences between them. First thing we want to talk about is something you've learned about a long, long time ago, and that is a scientific hypothesis. The important thing to remember is, as you guys probably learned it, it's an educated guess uh, to the answer to a question. And as we know from the scientific method, we naturally have observations that lead to questions, and we want those questions answered. And if we can experiment on that question in a controlled way, we tend to get closer to the real answer and the real truth. So a hypothesis is that educated guess as to why something is happening, all right? And, and it's not just a, a guess out of the blue. It really should be something, a why answer, that is backed up a little bit with experience, with data, whatever it may be. The important thing, too, is that we've neglected probably in years past is it has to be testable. Otherwise, science is not interested in it. So if you have an answer to a question, the why something is happening, the way it's stated, we want to make sure that it is testable, that we can do a controlled experiment on it. Otherwise, it's not a realistic or reasonable answer for us because then we can't push through with the scientific method. So again, a hypothesis is just explaining why something happens. And it's not completely supported by tons of data, but it is something that's reasonable for a possible answer. Again, scientific hypothesis. Now, a theory is like a grown-up hypothesis. So, a hypothesis explains why, and so does a scientific theory, except the scientific theory has been backed up with tons and tons of experimental data. So, a scientist has an idea, a theory as to why something's happening. That scientist starts testing that idea over and over again, getting more and more data. Other scientists question, challenge those experiments, and find more and more that the theory continues to hold up. People are having trouble disproving that, and it is backed up by a lot of data. That is called the scientific theory. Remember, since it is explaining, again, why something happens, all right, it is an interpretation it's a possibility of how or why something occurs. Remember then, a hypothesis or that educated guess eventually backed up by enough data can become a scientific theory where other scientists recognize it. That is a potential possible answer as to why or something is happening. The important thing though is to realize it has to be backed up by solid experimental data which was found through the scientific method. If not, then it's just a whim, maybe a hypothesis at best. But when other scientists start to recognize your theory as a potential answer, a true answer, because it's validated with experimentation, then it's a theory. Again, hypothesis and theory both talk about why something potentially happens. Now, hypothesis and theory were the why, but natural law, a law, a scientific law is different. It never explains why or how something's happening. It explains what happens. The observation of what you always see in nature, it never, ever, ever explains why. So the law of gravity states, you know, is showing you that when I have an object up in the air and I drop it, it's going to fall down to the ground, all right? That's the law of gravity, that objects eventually fall towards the larger mass. We see that. That's an observation that always holds true. We're not explaining why. We're not getting into theory as to why or how gravity actually works. We are just simply explaining what happens. So law versus theory. Law explains the what. Theory explains the why. Hypothesis can eventually graduate into a theory with enough experimental backup. All right, hopefully this sheds a little light on these three things. People use them incorrectly all the time and kind of mix and match them. But now that you're educated in this, you should fully understand the difference between a law and a theory and that a hypothesis is basically just a weak theory that hasn't been backed up yet. Thanks for listening, J. Kemp family. Have a great day. Proud of you.